Welcome back to Ash Footy TV. This is season 2016. As you would know, I'm sitting at uh, my uh, chair uh, in the study. Uh, the the new studio is getting a, a, a revamp uh, from last year, so uh, look look forward to that uh, in the next coming weeks. Uh, let's go through the previews for round two. Uh, we've got uh, Collingwood versus Richmond in the first game. Uh, Collingwood have made four changes to their side following a, um, a thumping against uh, the Sydney Swans. Uh, with James H coming into the into the team for the first time uh, in his new colours. So uh, look out for him. And uh, we've got uh, three other ones. Ben Reid. Uh, Brody Grundy uh, in the ruck and Adam Oxley uh, who is pretty good down the back line um, and with still side bottom uh, suspended for two weeks uh, you've got uh, Swan out for the year uh, with a broken foot and uh, a an left knee uh, problem and then you've got uh, Jared Witts uh, who uh, damaged his hand in uh, in the ruck and then uh, Braden uh, Maynard, uh, who uh, who was uh, omitted uh, from the side the, this week. So uh, Richmond, uh, on the other hand, they've got some uh, couple of big outs still. Uh, we've got uh, Ivan Marich and Brett Delulio who are still out uh, with um, re respective uh, injuries. Uh, this game is uh, looming to be a. Uh, Big blockbuster on a Friday night. Uh, you've got Adam Trelaw, the new recruit, uh, playing against uh, the side that uh, was chasing him. And um, you've got uh, Alex Rance down the back, um, could possibly hold uh, Cloak uh, for another stinker game. Uh, the stats show that uh, since round 15 last year, Collingwood have only won two games. So if they lose this one, uh, you could probably pencil them in for not making the eight uh, this year. Uh, it would be a real disappointment uh, for, for Nathan Buckley, who signed a contract uh, which would uh, last uh, until next year. Um, uh, that they, they could be uh, rethinking that, uh, that signing uh, if they don't make the eight this year. So my tip for this game, I'm picking Richmond by 25 points. Okay, let's go to game two for round two. Adelaide versus Port Adelaide uh, in another showdown on uh, Saturday afternoon. Uh, Adelaide have made uh, one change for the showdown. Uh, they're bringing in Kyle Hardigan to replace Nathan Vern Berler. And while uh, Jimmy Tumpus uh, will make his uh, Port Adelaide debut uh, coming over from, uh, from Melbourne. Uh, Adelaide uh, last week against North Melbourne uh, were, were pretty much leading uh, the whole game until the last quarter and, and North Melbourne just uh, run over the top, um, had more legs uh, than, than Adelaide. Uh, for some reason, they had Eddie Betts uh, up the ground uh, in the in the centre uh, midfield, uh, who didn't really um, uh, only got around about 13 touches for the night, and uh, it was pretty unusual um, that uh, Don Pike uh, put him put him in the middle for most of the game because his best work is around the goals. Uh, he kicks uh, uh, fantastic goals uh, from last year. And as we know that uh, when he's up and going and kicking goals, that uh, that's when uh, Adelaide are, are um, at their best best game. So Port Adelaide, um, they had a bit of a bit of a scare as well uh, against the the Saints. The Saints were probably around about uh, leading around about oh, 20, 23 points uh, going into the late. Last change and um, and Port Adelaide just uh, steamrolled them uh, in the end by 33 points. But St Kilda were one of two teams to kick 100 points uh, in a losing team, so that was uh, that was impressive by the Saints. But in the showdown, I think uh, I'm going to pick uh, Port Adelaide. 
Uh, they were at home last week. Adelaide had to travel. Um, Eddie Head is a little bit, a uh, little bit hard, so they might have some uh, sore, sore boys. Um, so, and the showdown is going to be a big one. Uh, I think uh, Port Adelaide will get the uh, the job done. Let's go to game three, Essendon versus Melbourne. Uh, Essendon have named um, Michael Hartley for his senior de debut, but has dropped uh, Jonathan Sipkin, Craig Bird from, uh, came over from the Sydney Swans, and Sean uh, McKernan. And for Melbourne, Angus Brayshaw and Harita Lamumba are back in the uh, side for the Ds, uh, who got over the uh, line against the GWS Giants by two points. Uh, I think um, I think Melbourne are going to be probably too strong in this game uh, in the end. Uh, Jesse Hogan, uh, I'll uh, be surprised if he doesn't kick around about four to five goals in this game. Um, he'll probably stamp his uh, authority on this, uh, this game pretty early. And uh, if Melbourne are are moving in the um, upwards uh, uh, position of the ladder. Uh, they need to be fair to him uh, against Essendon and uh, get the win against them. So I'm picking Melbourne to beat the Bombers uh, at the G on Saturday afternoon.